Okay, um, very good afternoon everyone. Thank you for coming uh, for my session. Uh, my name is Kamarul Azahri Razak. I'm from University of Technology Malaysia. So today I would like to introduce um, um, about a new case study from Malaysia Japan International Institute of Technology in which that we uh, come up with a new uh, program, disaster program to, um, well, um, well, uh, say, to promote this training, research and field practice in, in order to have, um, uh, to facilitate this uh, disaster risk reduction in Asia. Um, I'm the um, um, program coordinator for this master's program, in short, what we call it, Masters of Disaster Risk Management. So as an introduction, uh, Malaysia Japan International Institute of Technology is a project, is a um, uh, say a government to government G two G Malaysia Japan uh, program um, to promote the use of this uh, Japanese uh, style of education in uh, Malaysia in Asia, and uh, in 2015 uh, we established a new center, so called Disaster Preparedness and Prevention Center. Um, just right after this uh, uh, third UN World Conference on Disaster Risk Reductions. To get a clear picture of these uh, establishments, actually uh, the, uh, the, the G2G program it, it was uh, established under this um, a consortium, what we call it Japan University Consortium, JUC in short, uh, with a great support from JICA. Uh, so far we have more than 30 uh, Japanese UNC uh, university uh, who are our partner, our member, and some of them are dedicated for disaster risk uh, reduction. Um, let me introduce you about the concept of dis uh, disaster risk management program that we organize in Malaysia. So if you look um, the uh, original concept, what we are interested in to um, say uh, facilitate the education provide a platform and we in integrate with the research as well as a field practice. So in such a way that we can stimulate a lot of activities program under the flag of disaster risk reduction involving a lot of uh, multi-stakeholders. So if you look, one of the major uh, outputs is of course to train to build a network of DRR organization and professional. and keep in mind that this program is not just mainly for the Malaysians but also uh, throughout the, the nations including ASEAN counterpart as well as Asia uh, in general. And the second output uh, what we would like to um, uh, provide is basically a scientific basic to plan and implement disaster risk reduction by considering the local partners, local um, uh, contacts. So now I would like to introduce you about the Masters of Disaster Risk Management. It's a one-year program. Uh, we targeted this uh, mid-career DRM professional. And of course, as I said, it's just not for the Malaysians, but we also welcome someone from the ASEAN and Asia uh, in particular. And this um, program uh, have been uh, developed about three years. And last year, um, we just uh, completed the first batch and now we are currently um, running for the second batch and if you look uh, at point number four is basically modular based intensive course so per course it run for two weeks and then they get a rest so i think what we are trying to do is to fit with the um, um, uh, say uh, a professional uh, those who are cannot uh, attend for uh, a longer period of time so in that case we uh, dispatch about 13 uh, internationally renowned DRM expert uh, from Japan to get involved in this program and it's not just po for one year but it's uh, in a long-term commitment so let me introduce uh, three options for professional uh, development so the first one on the left is on master's degree uh, on by top course the second one on the certified professional training and of course we also welcome those who are interested doing uh, master's degree by research and PhD um, so this is a list of our um, lecturer from Japan and also uh, a name of the courses uh, on the 
upper part is a core courses is a comp uh, compulsory and they have to select about three courses for the elective so if you look into the list of the courses what we are offer is not only on the technical but also on the policy and and managements okay um, now I would like to uh, move a bit from the education to the research uh, since the establishment of uh, the PPC Disaster Preparedness and Prevention Center we narrow down our uh, research interests into these four pillars so the first one on the looking at the um, advanced di uh, disaster risk management look into the well say uh, on the prediction uh, 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 preventive um, by using this SP band radar system and the second one we focus on the post disaster uh, look into these uh, waste water management issues and the third one well we in a way that to communicate science better with the policy makers decision makers we focus on the visualizations we invested a lot on on uh, getting a more advanced sophisticated system on the modeling and simulation and the last one on the multi uh, geohazard lab focusing more on the sediment based uh, disaster so these are some of the uh, example of the multi geohazard lab uh, which I'm I'm leading with this uh, we are not just focusing on one typical geological hazard landslide per se but we are also interested on the cascading hazard well uh, take a for example of the photos uh, June 2015 after a 6.0 magnitude earthquake in Sabah it triggered a lot of uh, debris flow and also um, uh, flooding in the area and also uh, this research also um, we uh, uh, promote this uh, multi inter transdisciplinary uh, and evidence based practice approach in a way that we can well use the uh, a link with the MDRM master's program education program and bring them to the field and get uh, um, uh, more exposure with the local uh, scenarios. Um, the second part of the research related topic I would like to introduce um, this uh, regional joint research initiative so called uh, JASTIP Japan ASEAN Science Technology and Innovative Innovation Platform uh, this project has been leading by uh, Kyoto University and MJIT if you look uh, is our is a focal point in ASEAN on disaster prevention Malaysia Japan International Institute through DPPC Disaster Preparedness Prevention Center is trying very hard to provide a better platform for those uh, you know uh, the academician researcher scientists and practitioner to come together and look into some local regional issues on uh, disaster um, and recently we launched our uh, just tip um, uh, office. Uh, I think today we have also Deputy Director of the PPC, Dr. Mama Ali, and also uh, Dr. Sohi Matsura uh, as a JICA expert. So uh, now I would like to uh, show some of the activities that we are um, um, uh, carry out uh, in the past uh, one year, two years, and what we are looking in the future. Of course, on the left, um, we spend a lot on engaging a community, a stakeholders at the different level, at the national level, at the state level, district level, in a way that we can get the trust, you know, understand the local issues. So, uh, and the, the in the middle, um, it shows uh, overseas field training in, in July. We brought the students, about 20, together with strategic partners to Japan, you know, to spend about two weeks to learn by, uh, and see by themselves all the structural, non structural measure and also we visited a lot of uh, um, a government and also research institute and on the right side just uh, come back last uh, couple of weeks we visited uh, a Sabah area uh, that that um, you know um, affected um, seriously by by series of seismic te tectonic issues activities and also uh, flooding and um, well to introduce to share with you some of the activity on the field practice uh, we also um, did a lot of uh, this what we call it join join program join workshop and the recent one on the left uh, we did it with the department of uh, irrigation and drainage Malaysia you know instead of uh, doing uh, a program activity in Kuala Lumpur in the university context 
So we try another approach to bring the program at their office, at their compound. So in a way that we can generate uh, a more communication, more um, uh, discussions and understanding uh, both side issues. And in the middle is uh, one of the uh, example of this technical visit together with Professor Takeuchi, we make use the MDRM uh, contact with uh, sub-JUC DRM uh, members, especially from Japan, uh, in a way that we can engage uh, uh, top leaders, top management from National Disaster Management Agency. On the right side is some of the photos from the public talk that uh, we did it uh, last year. Um, well, uh, I have uh, a couple of slides to go that maybe this is uh, one of the interesting part to introduce. Um, so this is a new project uh, that has been approved uh, by JICA in which that um, Malaysia Japan International Institute uh, of Technology uh, through Disaster Preparedness and Prevention Center, we uh, team up with Tohoku University, Arades in particular, International Research Institute for Disaster Science. We formulate a program, a project uh, under this JICA Partnership Program, JPP, which basically to improve livelihood uh, and safety of community by building uh, disaster resilience through disaster risk assessment. So this is the, the first ever uh, JPP project approved by JICA and we are looking forward to start in March 2018 in a way that we can formulate, you know, to really look into this scientific based evidence and, and, and bring this science into the policy. And of course, uh, if you look into the setting of the program, it involves a lot of uh, stakeholders, you know, uh, starting from the federal, starting from the, um, um, say, uh, well, of course, our counterpart at the state level, uh, uh, Selangor governments, and also at the uh, local level, uh, we really, um, uh, say, I investigate the, the issues, problem, and challenge of a multi-hazard and look into some best practice, good practice, in a way that we can have um, uh, more outcomes. And, well, to conclude my talk today, um, I think uh, this the, is a, a good example how we use uh, education in a formal way in which that we created, developed this master's program and link better with a counterpart in Japan. So far we have about 30 plus Japanese university, they are prominent. Um, and if you look into the counterpart, we, uh, the second phase of the collaborations, we are not just uh, invite them to give a lecture for two weeks, but also we are extending more into the research-oriented field practice, engaging more with the stakeholders. I think um, through this MDRM, DPPC, we hope that we can play a major role in, in ASEAN in particular through just it. Uh, platform we can uh, engage a lot of uh, practitioners from ASEAN in particular in a way that we can also contribute to the uh, Sendai framework uh, especially in the use of science and technology. With that I would like to thank you very much to, uh, to the organizer and to my colleague uh, who are here today. Thank you very much.